In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up NeoVim as an external IDE to write GDScript for Godot, complete with syntax highlighting, LSP functionalities like autocomplete, pop-up documentation and inline errors and warnings, and even debugging. Let's get started. A prerequisite is that your NeoVim config already includes TreeSitter and NVim LSP config. If you don't know what TreeSitter is or haven't learned anything yet about NeoVim configs, I can greatly recommend NeoVim Kickstart. It's a NeoVim configuration meant as a basic setup with very helpful comments to actually teach you how NeoVim configs and some of the most widely used plugins work. The config example I've used in this video is actually a modified version of Kickstart. If you have TreeSitter, syntax highlighting for Godot files will probably already work. This is because TreeSitter supports parsing of GDScript files, Godot resource files, and even GDShader files. In your config, there are two ways of making sure TreeSitter is active on these files. You can either add GDScript, Godot resource, and GDShader as part of the ensured installed parameter, or you can make sure the auto install parameter is set to true, in which case TreeSitter will auto install support for whichever supported file type you open. The Godot editor can act as a language server for NeoVim using the language server protocol or LSP. To enable this, call setup on GDScript and LSP config, passing in the LSP capabilities of your configuration. This will enable features like autocomplete pop up panels with some documentation on Godot function calls and inline errors and warnings. TreeSitter has some auto indent support already based on some keywords. However, it's far from perfect for GDScript. Therefore, I also included the Vim Godot plugin from Habamax. This plugin contains some functionalities like syntax parsing and highlighting, which we already got covered thanks to TreeSitter, but it also adds good auto indenting, which is why I included it in my configuration as well. To make sure that the auto indenting logic of the Habamax plugin is used and not the one from TreeSitter, you need to set the indent functionality of TreeSitter to false. When you open scripts in the Godot editor, either by selecting them in the file explorer or by clicking the script icon next to the node, it would be great if it would open them in NeoVim instead of in the in-engine editor. To do this, we need to set Godot as external text editor. Go to editor, editor settings. Under text editor, go to external and tick use external editor. In the exec path, put nvim or whatever command you use to start NeoVim from the command line and in exec flags, put the following parameters. This basically tells Godot when it wants to open a file to send a message to whichever process is listening on the host name Godot The message that is sent is a command that when executed in NeoVim will open the right file and jump to the right line and column. For this to work from the NeoVim side, we need to listen to the Godot host address. We can do this by adding dash dash listen Godo host as a command line parameter when opening NeoVim. But because this is a bit annoying, I instead added this bit of logic to my config file. By looking for a project.godo file, it checks whether NeoVim is opened in a Godo project directory, and if so, it starts listening on the Godo host address. So we don't have to add it manually to our command line options every time we open it. For external debugging, Godo supports the debug adapter protocol or DAP. The Kickstart NeoVim config already contains some plugins for DAP support that you can enable by uncommenting a line near the bottom of the config. The plugins themselves are configured in the debug.lua file, and we need to add some specific configuration to connect to the Godot editor. You can also modify the key bindings to start, stop, and step through your code as you wish. One thing I didn't mention here is the GD Toolkit plugin that you can find in the Mason plugin list. It contains linter and formatting functionalities that you can trigger with certain commands. However, I don't really have a need for these, given how everything is already covered by the setup I explained earlier. Also, I'd like to shout out Lomix on GitHub. They made a NeoVim plugin for debugging before Godot had debug adapter support. While their plugin isn't useful in our config, I do just want to take a moment and admire the great work they did on the Godot NeoVim logo. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. In the near future, I'm planning to start making devlogs about the Godot game I'm working on, or you can also catch me live working on the game on my Twitch channel.
If you have any issues setting up NeoVim, or you have any tips and tricks on using NeoVim with Godot, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.